Over the next week, the Toronto Star is going to be publishing a series of stories on medical device regulation. We're doing this in partnership with the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. So what that means is that hundreds of journalists around the world have been working together over the last eight months or so, digging into government records and speaking with people who have received medical devices and had negative health impacts as a result. Here in Canada, the Toronto Star is working with the CBC on a series of stories, including a series on breast implants. So over the last eight months or so, I've been speaking with women who have had breast implants and had very negative health implications from them. One of those stories is going to deal with a particular type of breast implant called BioCell. These are textured implants as opposed to smooth. What that means is they have a sort of a rough surface to them, almost like a, a very light sandpaper texture. Initially, that was designed to help address some of the problems with implants, including movement within the body. But what's emerged in, in the last few years is growing concern among plastic surgeons across the continent who are starting to have reservations about putting these into the bodies of their patients. They're seeing increased complication rates and also the emergence of a, a largely unknown type of cancer. It's called BIAALCL, and it's showing up more and more. It's impossible to know how many women have acquired this, but officially in Canada, there's 25 cases. 23 of them are associated with biocell implants.